This is the story of Trixie. After failing to stop the Ursa Minor, and after enslaving Pooneyville and taking it over thanks to the corruption of the Alatorn Amulet, the ponies of Equestria no longer trust Trixie. After her defeat by Twilight, Trixie has realized the importance of friendship and seeks to start her life over by taking her wagon, dismantling it, and converting it into a small house. A small house here built only with whatever pieces of lumber were left over from her performing wagon after she found a nice place to settle down and set up a permanent residence. Trixie knows from her battle with Twilight that friendship is a powerful thing and she's already been inspired by the tricks that Twilight used to defeat her to use friends to help improve her magic act. Magic is still important to her. It is what her cutie mark on her flank represents. And it's the destiny that she's going to continue to follow. Seeking to make friends, Trixie approaches the Flim Flam brothers and makes a deal with them, helping them with their performance. Her skills help them bring in money and she finds herself able to take that profit and start bringing her life back on track. Trixie continues to perform her shows, hoping to find some pony in the audience that she can connect with and begin to make those powerful bonds of friendship so that as Twilight showed her, she can begin to understand how important friends are. Trixie performs for them, but finds herself met with mixed results, as many ponies either ignore her, or boo her, or even worse. The other ponies of Equestria are not quick to forgive Trixie for all the things that she did in the past. But, through great struggle, she finds herself connecting with kindred spirits. Other ponies who also have cutie marks that represent talents in performing magic on stage. She begins to talk with these other ponies and discovers that they all share a common desire. The desire to become famous on stage through performing magic. So she makes a deal with them, come work with her as her employees, and together they will all be able to perform magic on stage together, and they will create a new magic show, the greatness of which will rival any of Equestria's stage magicians. Using ideas inspired by the tricks that Twilight performed to defeat her. Trixie and her new employees begin to work out a new magic act. After discussing ideas on Trixie's stage, she goes over to the small theater which is owned by this new group of performers and she begins to look the place over as she brainstorms with them new ideas for their magic act. She watches them perform what they do already and she tries to figure out how to work with what they have right now. She talks with them and bonds and over time they become more than just boss and employees, and they start to form bonds of honest friendship. 
but Trixie doesn't understand this just yet, and continues to work with them, telling them what to do and how to improve their magic. They continue to like Trixie also, although it's hard for them to fully trust her, they begin to understand each other and begin to get along better. With the money that she made helping out her new friends, Trixie returns home and begins construction on expanding it into something far better than what she could build with the leftover parts of her wagon and she begins to get her life back on track. Trixie finds herself going back and forth between her residence and the rundown theater which also needs repair. The ponies begin to help each other and they continue to bond as they continue to plan their magic act. As this goes on, Twilight stops by for a visit, and the two begin to bond and talk. When Twilight hears what Trixie is doing, she points out a few things to Trixie and gives her some advice on friendship, reminding her that friends can't be bought, that it isn't enough that she's their boss and they are her employees. It isn't enough that they work together and get along together. True friendship is about doing things for each other when you're not being paid to do so. Trixie takes this advice to heart and decides that the ponies who are truly her friends are the ones who will stick around when things aren't going right, when the money isn't flowing. If this new group of friends leaves her when what they're attempting isn't successful and the money doesn't flow in right away, then they truly weren't her friends to begin with. But if they stick around through both good times and bad and they don't leave her even when things are going wrong. If they stay by her side to help her through the hard spots, then maybe, just maybe, she truly has friends after all. At this stage in her story, she has yet to find out if this group of performers will be her friends or if they're just interested in getting another paycheck and moving on with their lives. It's a lot to work on, just as Trixie's house has to be built piece by piece, so does her friendship. Recovering from who she used to be and proving herself as a truly reformed Pony, no longer interested in power and bragging, is going to be a long journey, but one that Trixie is willing to take. The rest of this story will unfold over time. Thank you for watching, and good night.